Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Why the Hell Are We Doing This? <laughs> This week we are exploring a haunted mansion. We can't actually name the location as the gatekeeper has told us not to because of privacy reasons and we didn't want to attract the wrong crowd. There has been a few vandals that have broken into here. So just to keep it safe for them, we're not going to name where we are. But this is a over 300 year old mansion. <laughs> it's like, this grounds has been inhabited since like 1118 year. Like that's messed up. This location has been used as for several different things as well. So it originally started off as a house, but then during World War II, it got converted into a hospital. So as you've pointed out before, there's probably been many deaths here. Mm. It then got turned into a girls' covenant school in the 1950s. That Very means common. nuns, bitches. The hall actually shut in 2006, and since then it's been abandoned. So like, as Rosie said, many people have broken in. It actually got burnt down recently. I think it was last year. It's not like, like one safe. place. It's not yeah. safe at all. It's unsafe from bats and also unsafe from ghouls. But it is Ooh. Halloween, so A lot of fuck the it. ceilings are actually fallen through as well, so we actually do need to be careful where we're stepping, stepping when exploring upstairs, so that's what we actually yeah. need to keep an eye out. Two more floors upstairs and a cellar downstairs. The gatekeeper, John, gave us a bit of insight into the cellar when we first got here. He basically so, warned us. Yeah. yeah, and then insisted that we went down there. <laughs> but, uh, so the gatekeeper, John, just let us in. He gave us a little bit of a tour, but don't worry, we're going to show you the rest of it in a minute. The gatekeeper, John, lived here for like 15 years with his wife. And he said every time his wife would go down into the cellar, she'd see a monk at the end of the corridor, like in his like brown robes and everything like that, just looking back at her. And she nicknamed him Peter. Apparently Peter isn't here anymore because when this place was used for functions, for like weddings, funerals, things like that, one of the barmaids was driving home to Chilwall. And when she looked in the rear view mirror in the car, the monk was sat in the seat behind her. So he might still be, he might not be here, uh, but he also told us that he used to have like a giant Alsatian dog that was too scared to go down into the cellar. So if it's too scary for an Alsatian, it's too scary for me. Can I just um, reinforce though, this mansion is absolutely huge. Yeah. Like this room is enormous. It's enormous and there's so many of these rooms like, on this floor and then yeah. there's three more levels. Yeah. This singular like this room is bigger than my house. It actually has been alleged haunted here. A lady was actually seen walking up and down the stairs in this mansion. And apparently the lady actually fell down the stairs while carrying a child. She was pregnant and actually lost the baby. So yeah, apparently she's been seen to walk up and down the stairs reliving her tragedy. Other paranormal investigators actually came here not that long ago and they reported hearing a sinister growl of some sort and it's believed to be the spirit of Freemason who actually like is a sexist ghost who haunts the ground essentially because he has a <laughs> he has a no woman rule. So she's kissing someone up, isn't she? Who? You. Mm. Sexist ghost. I mean, <laughs> if he is sexist, the four of us being here, he's gonna be pissed off anyway. So yeah. you might as well just go as far as Ooh. you want to go. I know. That's what I was gonna say. We are the we are like we're friends. the antagonists. <laughs> we're the antagonists. I also want to say as well, like when you think about it, this place is abandoned. It never gets used anymore. So if there are if there are any ghosts waiting to communicate, then. Now was the time, like we basically wow, they're going yeah. to come to yeah. us. Yeah, it sounds as though the last investigators did get a lot of activity as well because John was telling us earlier in one of the bedrooms upstairs there was a seance for a group of other paranormal investigators and one of them saw a woman dressed all in black sitting in the corner and it turns out that it was like the eldest mom and the mother. The yeah, the, like a family that lived here, like a painting is like hanging on the wall behind us, I'll show you it in a second. Um, apparently it was her bedroom, she lived there for like the last 10 years of her life and she just like appeared to them during the seance, so I don't know why we're here. And Can I just so point scared. out as well, um, the gatekeeper is actually, so there's a big massive path to get to this mansion and the gates at the bottom of the path are actually locked for obviously to keep people out. So. If we get scared as hell and want to leave, we're actually locked in until 12am tonight. And um, we've got to give him a call and he's got to come and get here. So, oh, it's actually me and well. The more I think about it, the more I'm getting scared. So I think we just do it. Well, I do. Yeah, so I'm more scared that I'm going to get in my car and look in the rear view mirror and there's going to be a monk in the back seat. Oh my <laughs> God. Don't, don't even. Squeeze them between the two Do not manifest it, but you know what? Here we go. Is to nothing.
three hundred year old haunted mansion. Let's go. You're about Bagel. to get explored, baby. This is definitely the first location I've came to and straight away being absolutely terrified. Yeah. yeah. I said that, didn't I? I said like in the other places that we've been to, I've got scared eventually, but when I've got there, I've been scared. But as yeah. soon as you walk in, it's like you can feel like the airy atmosphere, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Because the mansion is abandoned, all the windows are like smashed, so the temperature of the room is like it feels like minus. It's mm. not. It's, but freezing. it's freezing. That's why I have to rub Amy's coat. Yeah. I've sacrificed my coat. Oh. So I feel like we need to try and like, notice the temperature. So if the temperature does change due to like supernatural activity, we notice. Well, you can see already all the vandalism, like paint everywhere. I know. It's sad, really. I know, literally. I think it's so sad that one of the wings was burned down like a year ago, like so much history has just been lost. Yeah, these are all the pictures of people who used to live here. Oh. That lady in the ferry top, dressed in all black, was apparently the one that there was a sighting of upstairs in one of the rooms. So we'll show you that later. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching it through the screen to make it feel like I'm watching it on telly and I'm not here with you. I want to point out as well, every Don't do time that. you move, you feel like the, the portrait eyes are following you. Yeah, it actually does though, like, For especially real? this one, this woman. Yeah, her eyes just like clock you. No, it actually does, that lady especially. Really yeah, really she's like the most, her eyes are the most lively. Oh, there's the stairs there. This door's creepy. I'm like, oh, This house is literally like the haunt of Hill House. I wonder what went on this like now table or maybe some sort of like. He said they used to use it to like host weddings, funerals, christenings. And it's also um King George, John was telling me earlier, he's the one who caused the whole kickoff for American independence. So any American viewers out there? Hey. Do we leave the radio on or two? Oh, like why? Should we head up these stairs? Okay. And then we go up the stairs by the scary, so keep watching the EMF meter on this. I saw that there's like a never ending staircase, isn't it? It was a straight down the staircase. And it was literally so big in here, like you actually will get so lost by yourself. Oh, I don't like the corridors, I just never like You can't see nothing. This is the room, isn't it? No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the room where the seance was, when apparently somebody saw a lady dressed in all black sitting in this corner. That's fun. What do you mean? <gasps> no. Did you see that? I, did, I saw it with my own eyes. I don't know if the camera picked it. <laughs> Should we maybe speak to her? I feel. Is there any other energies or presence here other than us four that are here right now? Please, can you make this EMF meter spike up to red, please? We don't mean to disturb you. Or cause any harm. We just want to communicate. In a friendly way. Louise's face. <laughs> I'm scared. She looks like she's going to throw it. If there's any other spirits or energies here other than us four in this mansion right now, can you please spike the meter up? It brings back a lot of memories. It just went to amber. It did not. It went to there. Sorry, yellow. And when I went over here. There's also no electricity upstairs, neither. That's why we've got to use torches up here. Oh, there's a lift and everything. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it like so much? Oh, yeah. Doesn't it like so much? Also, there was um, Freemasons that used this place and they left the symbols on the ceiling. Wonder why the big candle in here, girls? Oh, shh. Like 
Ja, ich habe mich gesagt. Ich habe gesagt, 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 ich habe Oh, help it was this little mouse. Does any energies or spirits with us please spike this meter to red? If there's any supernatural presence that wishes to communicate with us, please spike to red. Louise, I was just about to say, I might not know that it's a supernatural presence. It's spike. Oh my god, it's literally one to red. Please spike up to red if you are a male presence. Please spike up to red if you are a female presence. Is there any presence that wishes to communicate with us? Please spike to red if yes. Let's move on. Go and do this. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Sorry. Did you see the YouTube Yeah, these were like flats for the Freemason ones. Is that a YouTube one? What's that? No, it's just a placemat. Robert Adams. So, go in the hall. And the contract. Shoes. And look at that. It's that Robert Adams guy. Whoa, 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 it's spiking. It's spiking. Oh, what is that on the wall? Hey, it's spiking. Oh my god, look at me. You know what's doing it? It's spiking. What's that for you? That's a nice guy, me. No, look at the wall. It looks like there's been a few more. Fingerprints. Yeah. Like someone's gone full caveman in here. Oh, that's staying on the wall. It's like a gingerbread man or something. No, we, I mean, we've been up this way before. It just spiked when we got to the stairs as well. Like, it spiked right there, and this is like the stairs. Oh, it's dying already. I'm really not even on that for a light. This is dead. Oh, I know the torches. It's dying. Can you call here? If there's any supernatural presence with us, please spike to red. Is there any presence here? Yes, it's a What was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's fireworks. Oh. <laughs> I just thought that was it. I thought, really thought that was it then. If there's any presence with us on this staircase, please spike up to red. If you can. Please use our, please draw on our energies and spike up to red if there's any presence with us. Check out. Whoa. I haven't got flashlights, so I'm going to have to cover it. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, I'm alone. You've got one of your knees, I'm going to switch it on. Oh, is it going to be Come on, I can't. Come <laughs> 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 This looks like it'd be like the attic or something. Oh, dead pigeon. Ew. Dead pigeon? Mm. What is that pigeon? This looks like it'd be a bathroom, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a tile. Tiles. <laughs> What's he meant for me to like? <laughs> We came in the stream before. So this is the um, top floor, isn't it?
You know, like things like this make me think who was the last person to put a pint down here and finish playing and just walk away. You know what I mean? Sure. That's like pieces of history that you don't think about. So there's the old organ. They used to have like, they must have had like Sunday service in here or something. And that was the altar right there. That's it. Um, for some reason, there's a Zimmer frame left here. So that's reassuring. I was going to say, should we? I feel like right now we've been walking around, like, because we're so, like, panicked. I think we should, like, open ourselves up to, like, the presence more. Because I'm walking around, like, not looking. I feel like I need to. Oh, like, yeah, like, think, like, what Joe was saying. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm so scared because like, I'm looking, I'm looking behind me, but I can't see if there's someone there constantly. Yeah. Maybe call out in this room and see if there's any activity. If there's any supernatural presence or any presence at all, please give us a sign by spiking this meter to red. Is there any spirits in this house? This room smells so bad. Mm -hmm. Please draw off our energies to communicate with us. We don't mean no harm, we don't mean to mock. We just want to communicate with you. Please. Why is that nice? It's like a. I don't want to freak anyone out, but it genuinely sounds like a bit of like an organ noise, but like far away. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It might be the echo of our voices. If any spirits still live in this house, please give us a sign by crossing these rods. Thank you. That's a doorway that's been covered by brick. Yeah, yeah. That room is the room that we were just in with the organ, with the pint glass, isn't it? I don't know. Shall I try that again? If there's any spirit that still lives in this house, please show us by crossing these rods. Please draw on our energies to help you cross these rods. Thank you. Thank you. If you're a boy or a man, can you turn the rods outwards? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's you, you little bitch. Oh. Has anyone ever seen um, Mother and Heights? That is pigeon shaped. <laughs> it really is. Well, really hot by that. Is it? Considering it leads to lots of eyes. Yeah. If there's any presence with us, specifically on this staircase, please. please spike to red. If a tragic accident happens on this staircase, please give us a sign by spiking to red. Can I just point out look at that big massive spider up oh. there? Ew. Oh my god. She had power. Sorry. Use all like hippie cotton. It's just always being a thing for the shine. Oh, that old cotton just scared me like that.
If there's any presents on this staircase, please give us a sign by spiking up to red. If a tragedy happens on these staircases, please let us know by spiking to red. Look at the mushrooms growing through the walls. That's mushrooms growing through the walls. Yeah. Is that mental? Look at that. There's mushrooms growing on the walls. That was what I was telling you before. That looks like the, the mold back there is between the blood. If there was a tragic incident that happens on this staircase, please let us know by crossing these rods. The camera light's just gone a bit. The camera light's just dimmed. If a tragic incident happens on this staircase, please let us know by crossing these rods. Please draw on our energies to help you cross these rods. Draw on our batteries and our energies to help you cross these rods. Oh my god. Did a female presence die on this staircase? Cross these rods if so. Draw off our energies, our batteries, cameras. To cross these rods if a death took place here. Yeah. Please cross these rods if there's a presence here with us. Please cross these rods if there's someone else here with us. Please. <gasps> Boom. The light's just gone off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just stop a sec? Why did that just you know, when, you know when they were like just about almost crossed? And you said it, it's it's crossed a bit or something? This one flicked. The light's just gone off. Like, like it just like flicked and then it crossed. Like it <gasps> the light won't come on, yous. Can we have spare batteries? Um, yeah. I'll be crashed, that's the last one, and then we'll be left over and then we'll be going down there. And then That's why it's just gone off again. Do you have a long handle, wasn't it? I think we're going to do this like the other Saying, can't you picture with the house? Can you video it on our phones? What the hell? Who's got a phone to video that? I haven't got one. It's just said so. It won't let me turn it off, no. Is it because of battery? I don't know. No, it's on board. So we've just left the stairs and we're still recording. I've just tried to end the video. Obviously you can see it's 12 minutes long and it's literally saying, hold that for me. It's saying, can I shoot picture? And has that ever happened before? No. That but was right after the lights stopped working as well. I don't know if we've just lost all that footage that was my point. Oh no. It literally went cut off though, let me see if I'm... So, just before like, the camera light and things like that went off, like the camera stopped working and everything a few minutes ago. Yeah, it weird. kept switching off. Bizarre. Though, it's like, when has that ever happened to us? No, literally. Um, I, we were... Sorry, Mum, it's for Sage. <laughs> um, we were um, obviously asking with the dowsing rods on the stairs if like a tragedy had happened because we know about the woman who, you know, fell down the stairs when she was with child and obviously miscarried from that. Um, and... Obviously, we always ask spirits, like when we're trying to ask them to communicate with us, to draw off our energies, off our batteries, cameras, lights, phones, things like that. Um, and that particular time, the Dawson rods were having a hard time crossing. You could see that they were trying to cross, mm. but they just couldn't, they weren't as quick. It was yeah. like pushing, wasn't it? And it's weird, like when you're actually holding them yourself, you can see them like quivering, like they're really trying, they'll, they might go right in and then they'll come back out again because they like kind of lost the momentum. It's weird. But, um, 
it was just as Louise had said. They've just about crossed and they, they cross like this much. Normally they'll just go like that straight away, won't they? And they cross about this much. And when Louise pointed out that they'd just about crossed, I felt it kind of like tick, like a, like a flick on the side of the right rod. And they both just crossed over. And at that point was when the light Completely went weird. It's yeah. so weird. The um, batteries were fresh batteries as well. They've been in for about an hour, so they definitely shouldn't yeah. have. The last hours, the batteries. Yeah, the last yeah. hours, but just in case it was the batteries, we've now swapped. Yeah, just to make sure. Oh, I don't know whether it's just me being lazy because I am a little bit lazy, but I've just yawned and I feel really tired and not my legs. I feel like I need to sit down and stuff like yeah, that. So it's been going on your energies. Maybe, yeah. yeah I'm going to yawn again. <laughs> <laughs> Something that we've. This whole series has obviously been about us trying to find answers about the afterlife and either debunk or confirm things. Um, we always say that we're going to do like a Ouija board or like push ourselves to new limits and everything. But this time what I think is really important that we do is that if something does happen, we don't run. Yeah. Because that's something that, why would we come here looking for it and just run when it happens? I'm saying this now, but in about five minutes time, someone could walk in here and I'll bomb it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try and withstand it this time and try and maybe Whatever get some more. Yeah. Footage. Mm. I, I mean, it might time, all not go to plan. I think the only time we should run is like in real danger. Yeah, like when it told us to leave. Yeah. In we had what, what video was that? Cathedral, cathedral house when it wanted us to in leave. Cathedral, uh, yeah, like we have to say it, like it, tell us if you want to leave, and it told us. So I think like in a situation like that, it's telling you like like it's losing patience with you, and mm. you just don't want to be in danger. Yeah. yeah. You, obviously, we're not here to like turn. Come here. It's not on Louise, but stay still, Louise. Can move a bit more back. I've absolutely shit myself. I look like a little Ew. boy's face. You look like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Like I probably froze behind the camera. Didn't want to interrupt you, but I was like, oh my fucking god. So, talking about pushing boundaries and things like that, we are going to do a Ouija board tonight, but that's going to be the last thing that we do in case we do get a lot of activity, which we're hoping for. Um, and obviously it's not very clever to be messing with these yeah. kind of things, so yeah, if that exactly. is us bad. If we need to leave, we need to leave. We've been warned by so many people already not to do Ouija boards. We've heard of like so many deaths happening after Ouija boards, so honestly I don't know why we're doing it. But like We've got sage and we've got black crystals, got so hopefully it protects so us. We're going to try and sort of see what happens. But yeah. obviously don't hate on us if this falls through because this is scary as hell. We're just yeah. trying to try yeah. some things out. Which, speaking of scary as hell, we are going to push the boundaries a little bit and go back down to the basement just so you can see it on camera and the basement if you've forgotten from earlier is where John the gatekeeper's wife used to always see a monk at the end of the corridor and she, she'd see him that often she'd just say hello as if he was just a person mm. standing there like greeting her and his Alsatian would never want to go down there so we need to keep rolling Rosie stop we just <laughs> as we were about to leave this room it was because everyone was talking about phones as we were about to leave this room we just heard and Rosie's from behind the bar so oh is Maybe we should go look behind the bar. I think we still have to do something here, just because we, we think that this is like the... Um, safe room. We think that this is the safe room. Yeah, it's literally just because he said to me, oh, you can leave your bags in here. This is where I've just heard the noise from. If there's any presence in this room with us, please let us know by spiking the meter to red. If there's any spirits or supernatural presence with us in this room, please let us know by spiking to red. What? That room is fucking horrendous. I, I pushed the door open. I swung back. It's obviously on a swing, but it just was so scary. I didn't want to scream. It's the top right, and I was like, <laughs> you should have to I turned around and saw you pulling that face. I was like, well, what is wrong? Because I did this, I went, what's in there? And then, what's in there? Should we go in? That's creepy though. Can I have the flashlight? That's probably not. That's easy. Oh, it's like an old kitchen. Is it? Oh, why is the three chairs just stood there? Ew! It is creepy, isn't it? It wasn't just me. Whoa. If there's any presence in this room, please let us know by spiking to red. Oh, please draw on our energies and spike all the way to red. This is the room we just had noise from. With any spirits or supernatural presence in this room, please spike all the way to red. Oh. 
So These give us a sign by spiking all the way to red. If you can only spike to amber, please spike to amber. Go further in. That's so cold in this room, is it? What is that? That's the basement. Oh, oh my god. Should we carry on? <laughs> You've done well then. Yeah. I've done well. Oh yeah. What a done well. It takes food up and down. Yeah. Is that what it's called, a done well? Yeah. If any tragedies or deaths happened in this room, please let us know by spiking to red. The staircase is right there. Maybe that's why it was going off. Tragedies happened on this staircase. Please let us please let us know by spiking up to red. If a death happens on this staircase, please let us know by spiking to red. We don't mean no harm and we don't mean to mock, we just want to communicate, please. Is there a female presence on this staircase? If there is, please bite to red. If that noise was you, please make that noise again. That sounds like this is. Is that sound like you were standing to this? I don't like this. So I don't like it. The basement's literally right there. That was actually like a growl, wasn't it? I thought it was a pigeon at first, but then the pigeon was a pigeon. pigeon yes. Yes. If there's a female presence on this staircase, please reassure us by spiking to red. If there's a male presence with us, please let us know by spiking to red. <laughs> I still can't laugh. I'm never going to find that for you. Oh yeah, not here to mock, are you? You little piece of shit. I'm here to mock you. Oh my god, it's so cold. I'm literally freezing. Oh, I feel like I'm going to We just warm my elbows. It's getting really cold. We were in there and I was like, why is just warm? See, I feel a little cold all from the room. That's weird. I've also come in, I don't know what to expect, so can someone else go first? I'll go next to you. Oh, look. When we're getting closer, it's going. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. As we go to the basement, it's spiking. Yay. Let's go do something stupid. <sighs> Wait, 
its own pizza first. I've never seen it before. Should we, should we ask if it's pizza? No. I've said that noise again, yes. I've just said that noise again. Spike to red if it's Peter. Please spike to red if it's Peter. If this is the monk that lives here, please spike to red. If this is a different presence that lives here, please spike to red. Spike to red if you're okay with us communicating with you, please. We mean no harm and we didn't mean to mock you. Please spike to red if you are okay with us communicating with you. Ask her if it's safe to go in the basement. Is it safe to go down to the basement? Please spike to red if it's safe. You could trick us down. Oh, God. Flash them to red like majorly. any energy or presence here other than us four right now, please cross these rods. Yes, yes. Oh my god, Jesus. Thank you. Sounds like noises. Like movement. It doesn't open. It keeps coming to have from behind me, yeah. Imagine that's what the monk was done. Because it was on the corridor, wasn't it? I think it's still that corridor down there. If there is a female with us, please cross these rods. If there's a male presence, please turn the rods outwards. Turn the rods oh. outwards. Oh. oh, was that female? female Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Should we try going with that? That, that, See. Room, that corridor down there. And it's all like that's where that guy did the Ouija board by himself. Yeah. Maybe sit down, Lindsay. Majorly fashion. What the hell? Should I delete the rods here? Please cross these rods if you're okay with us communicating with you. What's going on? Please cross these rods if you're okay with us communicating with you, please. 
Please turn these rods outwards if you would let, if you wish for us to stop communicating with you. Thank you. Thank you. No, she doesn't want to communicate with us. No, it's just because it's really good. Let's get back up now. You want to go back up now? I can see it up there. Oh, look inside some spiders. Juicy. Maybe I should go in front because I have the camera. I'll bring it to the nose. It felt like a prison, like yeah. the doors with the bars well, on. I said, do you reckon it was the slaves' quarters? Do you reckon? Well, why else would there be bars on the doors? So we're setting up to a Ouija board now. So after we detected multiple activity on the EMF meter and the Dowson rods, we thought that we'd give this a try and see if any presents can come through to us this way. I'm actually petrified, you just need to do it. Move it Did you just move that torch? I moved it before, I didn't move it right then. It's just turned off and on. Like, am I on crack okay. or is that going dim and then flipping it? Yeah, and it's it flipping. literally, I just dead ass just seen it go. What did like, it on everything. The camera's just went dim. Yeah. A little bit more warmer. Start, Should we please? put a torch on as well just in case the light goes off because I'll shit myself? Should I just put the fuck was that? I don't know, it's just full on, on. rattled and like rolled on the spot. We watched it move. Didn't I say that that happened to before? Yeah, yeah. and now it's just been like a physical like, I there was no mistake in it. Like. It's kind of bright though. Can you see that inside on camera? No. It's not. Do you want to move it closer into the camera and use it to the end? I still can't see it. That's what it did, but without anyone touching it. Okay. I'm letting anyone break the circle. I'll say. That flashlight is flickering. It scares me so much about breaking the circle because I just know when I get scared, all I want to do is take my hands off. Okay, right, let's start. Okay, so it's circled the board to warm it up, okay? I know. Everyone gently, we come collectively as friends to communicate with anybody who is in this building with us. We mean no harm. We're all of light and love, and we wish only to communicate. Okay. Do we say that we only want to attract good people? You heard that. Are you going to growl? Yes. Guys. I feel like it came that way. It was like a... Okay. Let's ask if you want to communicate with us. Wait, wait, do we say that we only want to communicate with good people? Because at the yeah. minute we've just said anyone and I don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah, let's see. Okay. We only please wish to communicate with positive and spirits of light. We don't welcome any dark or negative presences. Okay. Is there anybody here who is of light and love that would wish to communicate with us? Those of light and love, please draw off our energies to communicate with us, please. Do you wish to communicate with us? If so, please go to yes. The light is full on turning. Can the torch light is full on turning on and off right now. Is that the it's, camera? I don't know, can you see it? The torch isn't. It just came yeah, out. It is on it's camera. Like my hand. Oh my god. Maybe it's drawing on the batteries. Drawing on our batteries. If you wish to communicate with us, please. Please go to yes. If you are okay with us communicating with you. We only wish to speak to energies of positive, positivity and light. If there's any positive spirits that would like to communicate with us, please take us to yes. Everyone's fingers light. 
If there's any positive spirits that wish to communicate with us, please draw on our batteries to take us to yes on the board. Take energy from us, from our batteries, our lights, our cameras, our phones, to help you give us an answer. Do you wish to communicate with us? Do you wish to communicate with us? Do we circle in them? If it's not warmed up, maybe we circle in them. Okay. Say, please use draw off our energies. Please draw off our energies, draw off us, draw off our lights, our cameras, our phones, in order to communicate with us, please. Do you wish to communicate with us? Is there any presence or spirits with us in this room now? We only ask to speak to positive and light energies, maybe that's why. I'm not doing it. No, I don't mind, trust me. That might be why, but I mean, I'm not doing yeah, it. Definitely we not. We've had loads of activity until we've sat down and asked only for positive spirits. Maybe there's only negative ones in here. We can maybe say we don't want to communicate with us, but we want to communicate with them. Nope. Not Let's ask it. one more time, then should we say thank you in the game then? Mm. Discuss. Is there anyone here, any presence, any energy, or any supernatural force, or anyone who lives here that wishes to communicate with us? If so, please take the planchet to yes. Do of our energies, our phones, our batteries in order to communicate with us, please? We don't wish any harm. Do you wish to communicate with us? Please take us to guess if so. If you wish to communicate with us, please take us to yes. We're going to end the game. We're just going to ask one last time before we leave. Do you wish to communicate with us? Please take us to yes if so. Thank you for trying to communicate with us. Ready? 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 Thank you. Let's say it and say goodbye. 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 I want to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh. Please, 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 calm down. Please. I don't even know what you did. Just think about it. Are you sure we want to leave? Let's just 
Let's just let's stop a second. Are you sure you want to leave? Can't hear. Thank you. Thank you for communicating with us, but we wish to leave the communication here. Thank you again. We appreciate you trying to communicate with us, but we're going to leave that. We hope you stay here. I'm so glad you heard that because I was like, can I hear that? Are you so tired? I felt like I could feel, I could feel the reason why someone would be crying just properly. I thought it was a I don't know. I felt like I could just like as if it was your sadness. Yeah, like I'd pop it on. Oh, just because. Oh my God, that was so weird. Okay. I've never felt like that before in my life. I've seen like things like that happen to people or people That's like said. It's closed. I think it was closed. It was closed. Go on, let's see. Like. You know when people say like they've been somewhere and they get like a sensation like they've been overcome with sadness and I've never understood it before. That was like I don't even know what it was. That was just so bizarre. Like I was fine. I was thinking I was genuinely sat there thinking like nothing's happening here. I just like I'm sick of playing this Ouija board. And as soon as I started thinking it, like I zoned out of it. And then I could hear the crying. And I could hear the crying, like it was like weep, like a oh, yeah, like oh, a weeping, like oh, a woman weeping. Yeah. I heard that, but it was very, very faint. Yeah, like, faint, but I couldn't distinguish. What yeah, it was. It was oh. And then I like kind of, I was zoned out and just like staring, and then I realised I could hear it, and then that was when Amy was like, I can hear crying, and I could hear it. And the more I, I focused I on it, the more I clocked your face. You were proper zoned out. I looked at you to be like, what's wrong with her? Because it was yeah. like you were in a trance. Obviously, you weren't, but it was like you're in, but in a trance. And as soon as Amy said that. You pure freaked out. Yeah. Because I, I heard it and I thought, no, I'm imagining it. And then I, I, I heard it again and I was like, what's that sound? And then like, I pinpointed it. It sounds like someone crying. And then like, I didn't even think, oh, I'm going to say that. The crying now, like the word just came out of my mouth. Like I can hear someone crying. And then as soon as I said that, it's like I felt like I knew that that's what the sound was. Yeah. When it noted that the lady who lost the baby was seen crying or heard crying? Yeah. Was it? I feel like I... I heard it. When you pointed it out, I started to think I'm gonna really home in on this now and like do what Joe said and try and draw it towards me and like ask it to come into the room with us and be with us because we're asking for someone oh, to communicate with us. And as I was thinking it, the more I focused on it, the more it just engulfed me. And it was just like, like raw sorrow. It wasn't like any sadness I've ever felt before. It wasn't like, I was crying because I had a reason to cry. I wasn't thinking about the woman that had lost the baby. It was just, I felt her sadness and just burst out crying. It was like, fucking like crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like you took on it here, sort of. Maybe, or like, I don't know. That was I've never seen anything like that before. Like, they feel like the headaches, they feel like, so you've probably like felt her empathy, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You've, you've You're always the one out of all of us, though. We always have got some kind of connection with the afterlife, though. Like you always see presences, so that doesn't shock me that you've felt it. Yeah. I was surprised I heard it, because literally, like, the last thought in my head before I heard it was, this just proves it's bullshit. Like, do you know what I mean? I was like, hard, oh, it's not coming, because like, I am, I'm probably the most sceptical out of us all, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. And then I was just like, oh, and then the, as soon as I heard it, it was undeniable, and I was just like, it felt like I heard it on purpose to kind of be like, haha, sceptic, are yeah? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I felt like I wasn't as open, but like I did hear like a few noises, but I feel like I wasn't, I forgot to open myself up completely. Yeah, I forgot to open myself up I did until I heard completely. the crying and I thought there's someone in the corridor. So I was like wanting them to come forward. It and sounds come like it was us. in the doorway. Mm, yeah. Um, the doorway that leads into the, the octagon room. That's like where the sound sounded like it was coming from. Which is in between both staircases. Sure. That was weird. There's not an in me now that wants to cry. There's not an in me now that has like a lump in my throat, or, like a tear in my eye or anything. I went into shock when you were crying. I was like, no, I was just probably like speechless. I didn't know what to say or do. I was just like, 
Uh, and then I was no, thinking, that was literally like, though. All going through my head. So I was like, oh my god, Rosie's but crying. at the mo- in the moment, I didn't get why she was crying. I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Kind of thing. Like I had sort of freak out. Like, fear. But there was no. Like, I didn't even think she was crying out of fear. I just didn't know what it was. That scary was happening. I don't think. No, neither. But I just felt like you. In that time, in that moment, I thought, oh, she's obviously just really scared. And then yeah. now that you've said that, it See, makes no, more sense. I didn't even think she was crying out of fear. I just knew she was crying. So, like, it was something, but couldn't understand what it was until she's just explained now. But I could feel like... That makes sense. It was so real, do you get know what I mean? Yeah. So we've actually just been discussing on whether we should actually go back inside or not. Um, but as Amy has just pointed out then, um, Joe Power, who we did speak to earlier this morning, said that you should trust your instincts. And Rosie's, obviously, her instinct was that she needed to leave and she didn't feel comfortable. Mm. Um, so that actually has kind of made up our mind not to go back in and also we did ask for to only speak to positive energies and the Ouija board didn't pick anything up which means I'm thinking maybe everyone in there is kind of only like negative spirits like yeah. or the, the ones that were willing to talk when it negative. seemed like we had a lot of like a lot of activity in the Dawson world and the EMF meeting until we only asked for positive spirits so yeah. like maybe the Bad spirits were communicating with us all along. Yeah, you know, and like, the, especially when we found like noise, like the growl. Yeah, yeah. like it was, you know, it's like, literally sounds like Zuko growling. Yeah, and it made me think of the Alsatian. Where yeah, that didn't I never want to go down to the basement. I know, true. Maybe that was right. That was right by the basement. Imagine that if it was, it could have been that the warning us, warning us. <laughs> not to go down. I mean, like I don't know. We could be like being far fetched now, but um, like at first when the, the past the previous paranormal investigators mentioned that they had a sinister growl, I think about like. How about that? Like, yeah, I just didn't really get it. But like, the sound was undeniable. It was just like a, a proper deep and like a rumble, like a, like a grumble, like a what's the word? Like, it not was like, like a, a gra- it was a growl, but it like, wasn't like an angry growl. It was like it a went, under, like, like a like a subtle like, uh, yeah. like a warning growl rather than like an aggressive growl. Yeah, it was, it was just... getting louder though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was weird how much louder it was getting. Like 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 I said, originally you got to just like. If, if, if Joe, who's used to speaking to people like that, says to shush your instincts, I feel like it'd be stupid to be like, let's push through and stay. If Rosie was Rosie was so adamant, she said she wanted to go like 10 times in a row. Because yeah. yeah. I was just going to sit there and just like cool off. Wait it out, like, yeah. No, no. And I was that's like, yeah. why I, I was saying, yeah, I'm really like, you sure we want to go before we make the decision yeah, to leave? that's what I mean. Like, there was not an enemy that was freaked out. Like, the whole time that we were there, I carried the camera the whole time. I was walking through doors before everyone else, and that's the most confident I've ever been. Like, the whole time we've done any video like this, like we're on like our fifth now. Yeah, I just want to note as well, like that noise must have came to you so strong for you to get that much of a fright because I heard it underlyingly, but it was so subtle and I couldn't really make out what the sound was. But then, what's that? What? Are you messing with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. just sorry. But the noise was so <laughs> subtle to me, so the fact that it, it startled Rosie so much because you opened your mind so much up to it, like I forgot to do what Joe tipped I remember us. hearing it like yeah. so loud in comparison it was so to what loud, you're yeah. describing. She was like, can you hear that, can you hear that? And I was like, what, I when can't When you said that. you couldn't hear it, I was like, I mean, I half hear it, it's like she's taking like, the piss. Like, yeah. I could, it was like, to me, it was so subtle, like it was distant, like I yeah. couldn't hear a, a strong sound. That's why I was confused when I wanted to leave so quickly. I was like, well, what, what's going it on? It sounded loud enough to me that it could have been one of you in the other room crying. Like, yeah, yeah. It was literally like. I can't even fathom how insane. I reckon you'll be able to hear it on the camera. Was it like it whimpers or was it like cry? Like, it was like. More whimpers. <gasps> yeah, like a howl a bit. <gasps> but like. In, like there was like, but I could hear it very, very, very quiet though. Yeah, like I just uh, about yeah. could hear it. But there it. was like, it wasn't like just like that. Like, I could hear like sniffling as well. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, don't stop like it. Like that. Like like you know, with like a deep breath in. Yeah. Yeah. I've never expected anything like that to happen in my whole life. 